we're seeing it already. You're, you're seeing the direct to consumer brands super focused on, you know, acquisition and just growth, growth, growth. And they maybe didn't, they neglected or didn't nurture the loyalty side as much. Those are the brands we're seeing right now, you know, mid pandemic suffering some of some of the earliest cutbacks. And, I, and obviously we don't know the ramifications of really what's going to happen economically with the majority of companies, but the early casualties or the early rollbacks or layoffs have been those brands that focused on acquisition at really the expense of loyalty. So I think as brands move forward, if, if you were doing well during the crisis, it's because the people you nurtured and cared for up to this point are supporting you during a very difficult time. And I think seeing how brands thrive during this pandemic, especially with an uncertainty facing us ahead, that will be the, you know, the pieces that go into the playbook moving forward. I think one of the great things we're seeing right now, um, and it is tough times, um, we're trying to keep it positive. I mean, it's, 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 you know, we're trying to deliver a positive experience for our own clients, and how are we communicating that? So and if, if we think about it, we want them to just be human, be real, be a partner. And kind of for the first time, this is where loyalty is getting exciting right now, it's they're putting people over products. And this really endears customers um, uh, to be better um, customers to the brand. And our, our data-driven insights is really kind of helping that, and that's where, where loyalty is really playing a good part. Kind of interesting, been thinking about that, and uh, kind of feel over the last two years, there have been certain trends, and I don't think the trends are changing as much. It's more that COVID has been become a big change accelerator. So things that could have taken another five years with a blink of an eye, those things have shifted and COVID has been the reason behind it. If you think about it, there are some key attributes of customer experience, which still stay the same. For example, let's just take convenience. Convenience is still very important, but the definition of what it means has changed. So convenience used to be, say, for a brick and mortar customer, easy in and out of store. Now it's more about contactless, digital experience. So the key attributes have stayed the same. How you pivot from them is really changed. Consumers are really adopting and intensifying behaviors, especially digital ones. Customers have re-evaluated their attitudes, values and beliefs overnight, going back to some more fundamental parts of the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Customers have discovered and purchased from brands outside of their normal shopping habits. And, you know, McKenzie just did a survey and consumers largely intend to stick to the new brands, what they started shopping during the COVID. So that's something that brands need to take a note of as they're moving forward, that you have gained some new customers for some. How do you keep them and keep them engaged once we get out of COVID? And also the brands that actually have lost customers during this time and have paused their behavior, uh, shopping with these brands, need to really think through how they're going to recapture these customers. It's literally a re-engagement strategy that's going to have to go into play. From a company or organization, overnight, the companies have, have had to pause, accentuate, replace parts of their touch point ecosystem while looking forward to the future, which is already here. Companies have needed to focus on getting online experience right, scalable, and those that actually got it, got it right, looking to sustain it, not easy. And if you just look at the digital ecosystem, organizations really need to look at remodeling their frontline response. Maybe you don't have that many retail workers on the front line, but from customer service strategy, you could have them call fulfillment centers and helplines. So companies really need to make sure that they put care back into customer care, being sensitive to anxieties, concerns, and needs of people is going to be critical. And the distinction between kind of customer communication and customer service doesn't exist anymore. Consumers don't distinguish by channel or know about in internal functions. They expect consistency. And during COVID, the whole isolation and the uncertainty is going to drive these things to the forefront.